to Minister, you're very welcome into the House this morning. And I wish you really, really well in uh, your portfolio. I do believe that you've taken all the role with gusto. And uh, I do believe that you're going to make changes um, to affordable housing and to social housing in this country. Um, and I have great confidence in you. Um, I welcome this bill here this morning and I will be supporting this bill. There are a number of amendments that I will also be supporting. And while it does give cer certainty to those that are renting at this moment in time, and it does ban evictions, my main concern is the extension of the 10 days. And it's just not enough coming up to Christmas. You know, there's an awful lot of fear there for families at this moment in time into level five restrictions. There's real fear out there. And to have the thought of an eviction and then just given 10 days and then just coming up to Christmas, hanging over people's heads, I think we could have done a little better, a little bit better on that. So there are a number of amendments there this, this afternoon that I will be supporting uh, as well. And I don't even know if you're going to accept any of those amendments, but I, I will be supporting them. Um, the five kilometre... Uh, extension as well needs to be looked at in relation to extending that to 20. I, I would welcome that as well. But, you know, I'm rising here this morning really because of the, and I don't know whether you're even going to address this this morning, it's the 3,500 children that we have in homeless accommodation. It's the 10,500 people that we have in homeless accommodation in this country. And I suppose this is an uncertain time for them too. So maybe you could give us uh, your thoughts um, on really how you're going to deal with that. I know the last time during the lockdown, the one thing that happened uh, during the lockdown was that our homeless figures went down. So I'm sure you have a plan for that as well, and I'd like to hear it. Thank well, you, Minister. I want to talk, turn to Senator Kyogen's points in particular, because this is important, and we're no, there'll be no complacency on homelessness. Every week I have a homeless delivery team. People have mentioned threshold. I deal with Threshold every single week. They're excellent advocates, uh, superb advocates of what they do. They've been involved, actually, in the legislation that we brought in, uh, in in July that others opposed, and it is their right to oppose, and that's fine. Uh, the Simon community as well. All of them I deal with because they do magnificent work here. We're still driving down homeless numbers. The, there has still been a decrease, and a decrease since the new measures have come in. Next week, we'll publish further figures in relation to homelessness, the monthly figures and we hope to see that trend continue. Now, behind all those figures are people and our families, so they're not just numbers, and we know that. But we're below about 8,700 at the moment, right? That's still too high, and any kid who's in emergency accommodation should not be there. We have our winter plan in place, and we've got to be very cognizant of that. We've got to protect our, our homeless community as well, particularly through this pandemic. I visited many of the emergency accommodation uh, facilities that are available all across, all across this country. There is capacity. I say that to people too. Every single night over the last number of weeks in all our major cities, there's emergency bed capacity. It's there. There are beds available, people. And we've got to look at that and see how we can improve it. In the budget, this government also committed to expanding housing first, which particularly for our most vulnerable uh, homeless citizens, those who are suffering from addiction and or mental health issues, many of who I've dealt with as chair of my own regional drugs and alcohol task force, we're going to expand that further. We've provided funding for that because that is an excellent scheme. 